Welcome back to Broad Mind. We're the Broads live in New York City. And we have a New York City-based comedian, Tom Ragu, in studio with us. He's loaded with issues just like the Broads, including <laughs> mother issues, weight <laughs> issues, pop culture issues. We are just uh, all about uh, issues. So you are in good company with the Broads. Tom Ragu, welcome to Broad Minded. Good morning. I, I can't believe I'm up at, what, 8 o'clock in yeah, the morning? Yeah, were you performing last oh, night? Let me get out of your grill. We're like sitting on top of each other. It's basically. okay. I was performing last night. I can't believe that I'm up uh, this early. I don't know how you ladies do it. Every how morning? How were you up? I mean, yeah, last night. I got home at midnight. <laughs> well, we actually were in bed by 11. Me a little earlier because I got uh, Molly gave me a present, so I I hopped right in bed and played with that thing for a little while. Yeah, I happened to have a little package vibrator in my pocket. Fantastic book. Yes, <laughs> I I like to sit on my phone and tell people to text me. That's oh. what I do. Oh, okay, great. We'll, <laughs> so. we'll change numbers later. So Tom, let's talk about. So you are a, you're a comedian, and it's so funny when we have comedians on. Usually they just don't show up the next morning because it is so yes. early. So thank you for showing up. Yeah, thanks for actually coming. <laughs> we we really appreciate it. But I want to talk about Mama Ragu. Okay, your mother. Yes, because she's a big part of your act. So part. who is Mama Ragu? Like who are you? Like where are you from? Where are you raised? I'm uh, from Brooklyn, New York. She was born born and raised in, in Brooklyn. She's first generation Italian. I'm second generation Italian. Um, she is a uh, she worked for a law firm for a really long time. Do you have any of that ragu money, or is it just coincidence? No, that's just a big damn it. A big coincidence. I wish that I was no kidding. The heir, the the lone heir to the ragu fortune. Yeah. Okay. So she worked at a law firm. So and she's just you know uh, a, a crazy Italian lady. Um, she wasn't very supportive of me growing up. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, uh, I, I wanted to get into law. As a matter of fact, as I was graduating college, I wanted to go into pre-law and then ultimately go to law school. And she said to me, you know, I really don't think that you have what it takes. You'll <laughs> That's never, nice. You'll never make it past the, uh, year, the first year of, of law school. So why, <laughs> Thanks, Mom. To the point. Why don't you go uh, to business school? Mm-hmm. Um, she said something like, you're too, you're too nice. And so I actually uh, listened. But, you know, things have really turned around, and she's so incredibly supportive now. I mean... Uh, she is? Well, she likes that you're a comedian? She, she actually likes that I'm a comedian. She's incredibly supportive of the whole gay thing. And um, she is... But she, I have to tell you that she is supportive and negative at the same time. Right. So what are some of the things that she says to you? Yeah. Well, she she will say, um, you know, you, you had a great show. She comes to almost all the shows. Aww. So she... We'll say you've had a great show tonight, but <laughs> last week you mentioned me eight times in your little comedy act. Tonight, five times. Are you sending me to a home? Is that what's happening? Am I going to a home? I don't know what's going on. And the fact is that, you know, that. by the way, that's the topic of every conversation lately. Once they hit a certain age, because oh, she's, right, she's about 121 y years old <laughs> by now. Right. And once they hit a certain age, they're obsessed with the home. I don't want to go to a home. The woman across the street went to a home. The lady next door went to a home. You're a homo. I don't want to go to a home. I'm not going to a home. <laughs> and um, she probably will never end up in a home because she's going to just live forever. With right. you. With me. <laughs> How wonderful. You're like, yay. And my gay little dog. You have a gay dog. I have a gay dog, Pete Ragu. Uh-huh. Oh. He's on Dog Book. Do you know about dog book? It's, no, it's what's the that? dog version of Facebook. Stop. Do oh. they have cat book? They have, Stop it. They have cat space. Like MySpace. Oh. Cat space and dog book. And, and, and he's on dog book? And bird book or something like that too oh, for the birds. Oh god Molly, we have got to we get a cat space. We are cat uh, we're, we're, we love animals, but mm -hmm. we're cat Yeah, we have people. cats. We, she we actually have I have the the boys and she's got the, the girls. girls. They're in this. They're the same oh, litter, like same a, family. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, cool. it's incestuous. It's a little weird. Uh, yeah, it yeah. is. But actually, do they know they're related or they? They've just... never met. They oh. were well, taken no, apart. They did. Well, they were taken apart as babies, but they obviously, you know. But we're acting as if they're that they would. Oh yeah, look, they look, don't look like hang out. Look at us. It's like, no, okay, look, that was that cat was crazy. That was really so. Weird. Dog book. Dog book. Now, what kind of dog do you have? Oh, he's a gay little designer dog. So oh. he, he was uh, ma made in the lab with love. You know. Oh, I oh, love he, it. So, he's a hybrid? So, a whole Brit? Yes. What, yes what, he's a gay designer dog. He's a Yorkshire Terrier, a Yorkie Bichon Frise. Oh, my God. He's a Bichon Frise he's with a, the York. Mm, right. That's a little Downton Abbey okay, with I a little bit of up. dog page. And he's also on, on Facebook. So it's facebook.com slash... Pete dot ragu. I mean, he's he's very very sophisticated. He's very social. He's in right. social media. Right. And yeah. by the way, he's got more friends than I have, and also that more events to go to. I'm Pete really pissed Ragu. off. Pete ragu. 
Okay. Oh God, I love Pete. Oh my Ragu. God! Yeah. How many shows do you do a week? So you do this all the time. You're you're a working comedian, and this is full time, and it's it, you're gigging. There's no other thing. Gigging. Why you're you, this is it? You're doing it. I, I I do comedy writing, and I write jokes mostly for myself, sometimes for other people, and I produce shows, performance shows, host, MC. You know, the, this is what I do. Wow. I, I, I gave up. I used to do accounting and temping, and I was the world's worst temp. <laughs> if you can imagine me coming yeah. in, coming into your office. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I was always late. Always late. Constantly late. Um, well, you didn't see us temping when we lived in L.A. We were, it was ugly. I was, I couldn't do it the was, phones. I, 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 when I was a temp one time, you know, no, they referred to me. They didn't even bother to get to know my name. They just called me Temp 4, <laughs> right? So there was like Temp 1, Temp 2, and I was Temp 4. And they wouldn't tell me. Yes, Pete Ragu. Oh, my God. Okay, sorry. I just found Pete Ragu. Go ahead. Pete so Ragu. you're Temp so 4. So I'm, I'm Temp 4. They wouldn't tell me uh, where the kitchen is, which was, b by the way, probably a smart move because if you've seen the size of me, you wouldn't uh, let me know where the kitchen is, and you wouldn't let me know where the all-you-can-eat Chinese restaurant was either. Because when the Chinese people see me walking in, they're like, uh, let's rewrite the sign. This isn't what we meant. <laughs> so <laughs> but You like so to eat. I, I love to eat. What's yeah. your favorite? Italian. Um, I, I I love Italian food. I love uh, I love um, Thai food. food. Uh, Thai food has been my thing, and you yeah. know, you really will put on the pounds with that coconut milk. Yeah. Oh, the Thai tea. I love the Thai oh, tea. Oh, the, the I have the Thai coffee. Mm -hmm. I can drink those. Wait, are now, what's delicious. Thai tea? What's in the Thai tea? Is it just the it's kind? it's actually condensed milk on top and tea on the bottom. Right. It's and, delicious. Oh, and I and and I and uh, I'm very uh, obsessive compulsive, and I don't like to mix it because I think it's cool that it, it just It looks stays. really pretty. Yeah, right. See, when I get the Thai coffee, which is similar to the Thai tea, I see that condensed milk, and as it goes down, mm -hmm. it actually kind of looks like a painting. Right. It's like the paint is falling down into, oh, where are we going with this? Uh, but oh. that, but that, I feel the same way about the Thai coffee. Right, it's like a Picasso. But you talk about weight in your act a lot. So I do. So, okay, so you have weight Wait issues. Are you going to ever try to lose weight? Or I mean, you look good. You look healthy weighty to me. Yeah. Does yeah. that make any sense? No, but anyway, okay. I um, no, I, I mean I've been trying to lose. You know, I lost about fifty-two pounds. So it's, you, it's congratulations! Nice. Oh, you've Thank lost you. fifty-two. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, not not all at once. I mean, I I lost thirty, gained fifteen, lost twenty, gained five. I mean, eventually it'll add up to fifty-two. Eventually, but, you know. <laughs> that's what I. Do I did too. an interview uh, last week with 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 the world's craziest talk show host. Mm -hmm. Who for this? I don't want to mention okay. any names, oh. but, but her name is that's is fine. Anthony Spanos. And so anyway. Um, <laughs> Yes, I mentioned her name. Yes, good. And she has a, she has a crazy show on on Queens local access QPTV. Uh huh. So she interviewed me, and I'm going to get in such trouble, but I don't care. Yeah. Um, and the first question out of the out of the out of the park was, uh, so I see that you have uh, weight issues. You talk a lot about weight in your act, and you want to lose weight, and this and that and the other thing. So how much do you weigh? And I was like, so, yeah, like I'm actually going to answer that question. So. I said, you first. You tell me how much you weigh. She said, 280. How about you? And I was like, uh, and I said, well, you know, it's not going to happen. Maybe at the end of my weight loss journey, uh, I will talk Come about. Back. I will talk That's about. That's kind of rude. Yeah. I don't think you ask that question. She was crazy. Not to women or to, to Tom Rago. Right. She's not well, maybe, you know, maybe people assume because you're a comedian and you use it in your act that it's okay to go there. And then they realize, you know what, there actually are some rules. There are some things you just don't do. It's how you, you know, you always, because you, you want to be respectful. Mm -hmm. And right. then there's some that just don't numbers. care. When people ask for numbers, it really bothers me. It's none of their business, to be honest. Right. My, my trainer actually thinks that I should talk about the number in my uh, because he thinks it would be empowering for me to reveal it this way the number has no power anymore oh I see yeah and so I just tell him to shut up to <laughs> shove it <laughs> because it's not it's not gonna happen it's not gonna it's happen not, it's not gonna happen maybe at the end uh, of the of the, of the journey I'll I'll in retrospect I'll talk about the weight yeah. how much I lost how much it was what I did what it was like, what it's like now. I'll get a sponsor. You know, I don't yeah, know. Are but you I mean, being I'm filmed? Not... Are you being followed on on this journey? No, you... there was a before picture that I took, so yeah. I did take one. Humiliating. Yeah, oh. but I think you, I, I mean, I think you look good. I think you look healthy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, I, I gotta know that. what uh, vagina hysteria and, and, is. And uh, oh one, one and, and I've given my dog the the my my weight my weight issues now. Like, oh, so like, he's so, oh, now, no. so now he is 
uh, he's got an eating disorder. Oh no! So he's two he pounds. He's two pounds overweight. Which for me, I I ate two pounds for breakfast this morning. <laughs> so two pounds is like nothing. <laughs> but for 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 Poor a little Pete. fourteen for a fourteen pound or twelve pound dog. Two pounds is a lot. Yeah. Okay, well, we've been talking about Pete Ragu now for a while, so yeah. we should make sure. Do you, we got to get his picture up on uh, our I'm Facebook. I'm putting it up right now. It's so cute. He is a cute little thing. He's okay. The, he's the cutest. Okay, what is Frise? The, yeah. Frise. Uh, vagina Frise. hysteria. And you believe people have it? Do you have it? I, I don't. I, it would be weird if I had yeah, vagina uh, vis, uh, uh, hysteria because yeah. if I was going to eat something, it would just be a roast beef sandwich. Yeah. So, but the thing is, is that. <laughs> Is and that b- how and you by view the, way, the vagina? Is that b- in your mind what it looks like to you? And by the way, it's very similar. <laughs> oh, well, we've oh. talked Just about... Kidding. No, it's true. We've actually no. talked about uh, the vagina, certain part. It's not a pretty organ. I've never... I don't think it's a, an attractive organ. I mean, there are some people... Actually, I, we tweeted out Christine's uh, cl- clitoris last night. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. It's, it was... Uh, it's The organ now... It, it's not an attractive organ. I, I agree... Uh, that it's uh, I can see the whole roast beef thing. We've talked about it for years. Actually, we've talked about that. Are uh, you sure you don't want a roast beef sandwich though? With uh, you don't ever try. Have you ever tried a roast beef sandwich? I have. And what did you I, think? Not a big fan. Not a big fan. I prefer the brujol. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So what is vagina hysteria? If, what do we have? What's well, wrong? With well, us? I think that. Uh, f- see, the thing is, that I wonder when did vagina become a dirty word? Because, you know, on, right. da- on daytime TV, there are all these rules now. You can't say vagina more than three times. That's why Oprah invented VJJ, which, by the way, I hate that expression. I can't take Every that. time somebody says VJJ, I feel like getting a fork and sticking it in my eye. Yeah, yeah. well, that's an overused catchphrase. Right. But um, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a clinical term. It's, it doesn't get any more clinical than that. I mean, I, vagina, I could go penis. on. Vagina, penis. It's like, right. why can't you say? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I can go on TV and talk about my elbow all day. And you know, rub my elbow and talk about my elbow, and and I and I have a pain in my elbow, and I put something on my elbow, and no problem. But you talk about vagina, and suddenly everybody gets very hysterical about it. I even see it when I do my 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 nightclub act, and I talk about there's a, there was a portion of the show where I talk about um, I I love women, but not the same way that everyone else uh, that that you would think. Like I love I love your hair and your makeup and the pretty things that you wear. It's, I love all women. It's just the vagina that I'm afraid of, and I w- and I would, you know, <laughs> and you can do, see, yeah. <laughs> and you would see people. You would literally hear, if there were gay people in the room, you would hear the gay gasp, which is huh! uh, uh, the gay gasp, <laughs> the gay gasp, <laughs> and. I just don't get it. Like, why is everybody so hysterical about it? But the vagina word in the last five years has also been part of the, the, the mainstream popular culture. They're now saying it more and more, but there's that rule. So it's actually become popular. We are saying vagina on a lot of I half an hour an actual rule. comedy shows. You see it on ABC, NBC, the, the networks. So it's both, but it it's become trendy and it can be... It, it, you're right. It's a clinical term, and who cares? But it has been overused as, okay, another vagina joke, or oh, we're going to talk about vaginas because that's what everybody's talking about. Right. So it's twofold. Let's talk about it, but then people gasp because it's the word vagina, which is a clinical term. It is actually a word. It's not made up. It's not roast beef sandwich. <laughs> that, I just yeah. And I'll by know. the way, if you were to talk about, if you were to like go on a daytime talk show, like let's say The View, and refer to the roast beef sandwich, you could say roast beef sandwich all day, and nobody would bleep you. Mm-mm. That's true. But That's vagina. True. But you can't say vagina more than three times. Okay, can we get into a little pop culture? Yeah. Sure. Dina Lohan. Oh, you Lord. You tweeted out, uh, I don't know what it was <laughs> last night or this morning. Probably not this morning because she's starting to function. What? But Dina Lohan went on Dr. Phil. We had the audio. It was a bit of a, di- yeah. Are we rolling? Are we rolling? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Hit us up. What do you, Give us. What do you think? What, yeah. do, what do you think of Dina Lohan, period? I think that I should send her a muffin basket because it's going to be a big part of my act now. And so I think that... Thank you. Yeah. But I mean, she's crazy. Everybody thinks that Michael Lohan is nuts and everybody thinks that Lindsay is crazy. But I want you to meet the source. And that is Dina Lohan. She is nuts. Nutty... Nut, nutballs. Is, mm-hmm. She's crazy. And now she wants to go back on Dr... Okay, so, so the whole Dr. Phil thing didn't exactly go her way. No, because I don't know. And she was out of it. Do you think she clearly was she was on right. drunk? She was sleepy. Oh God! <laughs> Air quotes. Sleepy. She, was she wasn't sleepy. drunk, but she was something. She she may have taken a cup of vitamin or a something. A vitamin. Yeah, she yeah. may have. Ta- yeah. Yeah, like you know, uh, oxycontin. 
or you know vitamin O. Or, I I don't know what you took. Vitamin O. Right, like you know, <laughs> al- allegedly. Allegedly, I'm protected yeah. under the First Amendment, so this is my opinion. Um, <laughs> she was not. I mean, I guess no. does that it makes you like? I've never seen her like that before. No, it. I actually, I actually have never seen her like that before. I, I mean, she may have been hanging out with with Lindsay the night before at the club because you know they go clubbing together. Which, by the way, I do that with my mother all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And the you know the yeah we go to the Knights of Columbus all the time and party with the other ninety one year olds. You go yeah. play bingo. Um, so <laughs> but you're, yeah, yeah but I want. Oh, go ahead. Well, I was going to say so I when I saw her, it, you're right. I had never seen her like that before. Mm-hmm. She was clearly out of it. Doctor Phil capitalized loved on it. it. He loved it. Yeah, he was the ratings. I mean, this is what like, he what needs. The hell are you so about? she's going back. She wants to go back. She wants to go back. To get help because he offered it to her, or to try to part write two the, of this. I, I think that she wants to set the record straight. Which is only going to make it worse. Just own it and move, move forward. On. Pretend like it didn't happen. And Nobody respected you before anyway, so it's not like she really right. lost anything. Call Dr. Drew a real doctor. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he's not a doctor. I think he's like a phlebotomist. I mean, I don't know what <laughs> Dr. Phil is. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, what I'm saying, if you've seen him, he's Asian. I think he's Filipino at this point. Yeah. Because no. He, uh, enough with the eye, the <laughs> eye work, Dr. Phil, with the eyes and the eyes. and the, I mean, at some point, his eyes... What did he Somebody do? should tell... My friend Maureen Langan, I can't even take this joke. My my friend Maureen Langan says that someone should tell him <laughs> because I'll get in such trouble if I if I own the no, joke you, myself. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. say whatever you want. I know, but you someone should someone someone should tell him that having eyes in the back of your head is just an expression. Because <laughs> at some point, he does. He's got to stop. Stop he with is, the eye work. He's but the whole thing. I mean, he just it doesn't look right now. He he just he's odd looking. And now and that Oprah has her her own network, right? And that she shows repeats of Doctor Phil and repeats of when Doctor Phil was on her show before Doctor Phil, yeah, before he became all big and famous and got his own show and started doing whatever it was that he was injecting or standing in wind tunnels. When hours. men get work done, it doesn't look. It good. doesn't look good. It's like. Yeah, it's the so only one, noticeable now. It is so when you noticeable. See what he looked like in 2001. Ooh, I want to see the comparison. And you got to look at like it's also like Kenny Rogers, or it's just sometimes it's right. just they get it goes too much. And Kenny Rogers was such a handsome man. Why did he do that in the first place? You well, know? it's and, extreme, and then it falls. But you know who I think looks great is Warren Beatty. I think he had the best one. He should be the model for these guys. See, I think he needs to stop too. Warren Beatty. Mm-hmm. I think he looks good. I don't even. I think he looks for someone that's seventy-five years old. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. He, Kenny Rogers, unfortunately, yeah. just. But maybe it's dropped. So Dr. Phil, yes, a real so doctor. She wants to go on. So yeah. she wants to go on, and she wants to set the record straight, or, you know, talk about it. It's only going to make it. It's only going to make it worse. And you know, he's going to have her back, of course. Of course. Yeah. So uh, that'll be. How good. does she make her money? We, I mean, she managed Lindsay, but how does she now make... Lindsay's an adult now. She can make her own money. Is, is, is she still a manager and she can get 10% and then she's got the other kids? But how does the money keep coming for both the Lowens, Michael? And, and that's what I'm curious. How do you keep that? And she must be getting paid well, a lot of money. Well, they do appearances, right? Like her and Lindsay will show up somewhere and they give them $10,000 just to come. Yeah, at, at Even least Even the mother? Yeah. 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 So that's why they go and they party somewhere. But she is also pimping out the younger one now. Right. Allie. Yeah. Allie. Right. So she can get the 10, 15% off Allie. And it'll just be a couple of years before you see her on Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew. Yeah. I mean, it's an, it's just a matter of time before you see Allie Lohan in the club acting crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Dina will end up doing Celebrity Rehab oh, yeah. probably with, right. with Dr. Well, Drew because she's going to need another gig. After you run out of gigs, what's the next gig? You've got Celebrity Rehab. You have, there was that other show. That's pretty much... You do the circuits, you go on Dr. Phil, you have a comeback, you set the record Vanilla straight. How many Ice times was, can... Vanilla Ice was talking about all the bad ones. He's, he did like celebrity bull riding. He did celebrity boxing. Right. I mean, he's even dancing. making fun of himself. He's like... Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, dancing, but Dancing with the Stars will not have Dina. Maybe Lindsay, but they will not do Dina. Oh, right. That, that's no. right. They probably wouldn't do that. They won't. Would but, they, yeah. Well, yeah. They, they had Heather, uh, what's her name, who was married to Paul McCartney. Oh, oh, Heather, Heather Mills. Mills. Was it Heather Mills? Yes, yeah. Heather Mills. That's Heather right. Mills, the, I love that. I was waiting for that, that leg to fly leg. off and hit Tom yeah. Bergeron in the head. Every week I would tune in. I was like, because you know that the leg is hollow and that's where she keeps the money. Oh, and I was okay. just, and I just knew I was waiting for that fucking leg to fall Terrible. off. But we all were, and, and that's why they had her on. 
Right. Yeah, I mean, they always you have, talk about they always have somebody that. Why? Why would you have uh, Bristol Palin on? Don't you love how they refer to when Bristol Palin was on a couple of years ago as activist uh, Bristol Palin? <laughs> oh yeah. No, really? you you had a baby. <laughs> yeah. And you broke up with your with your hot, by the way, hot. Um, you think he's hot? I thought he was hot. Levi. Mm-hmm. Levi. Levi Johnston. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, in a. <laughs> You know, if if they're if they're straight and emotionally unavailable, I'm in. Oh, you're so, yeah, I mean, see? yeah. So you know, yeah. I'm. I thought. Yeah, you have. To, uh, yeah. Oh God. So okay. why would you have these people? They're not celebrities. No, uh, celebrity. That word means nothing anymore. You know, like oh, no. love. It's not the same. Like love. No, no it's 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 changed. And, and amazing. Ama- amazing. Everything's Ama- amazing, amazing and unbelievable. Um, like God. Love. It's so true. Oh my God! All right. No, I, I, and see now I'm I'm drawing I'm drawing a blank on on the person that we were. Oh, Heather Mills. Heather Mills. Um, the things that she was saying about Paul McCartney were so extreme. Remember, she said that basically he would make her pee in a bedpan. Yeah, that was, <laughs> no, and she would crawl to sur- the bathroom because he wouldn't yeah. help her put. the And there was on. a special box, and there was something in it, and Paul knows what it is. Paul knows what's in that box. She was accusing him of the. She was outrageous. She was outrageous. We never you can't say anything about box. Paul McCartney. This guy is a mensch. He's a good guy. I don't think yeah. he was a beetle, for God's sake. He doesn't have a... That was an odd pairing. I those mean, who, two. Yeah, who knows? But I wonder what was in that box. What We never figured that... N- nobody ever that said was, anything, right? It was right? probably just some stupid story. She'll do story. a book, eventually. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. Bristol Palin. Have you noticed her chin job? She got that chin implant? Mm-hmm. She looks completely she different. She did? Yes. Her yeah. face is completely yeah, she, different. She got a new face. She got a she got a chin, and you can see it from the profile. It, it's it just stands out. She actually looks better, I think. But when you see her profile, I noticed it the other night, first night of Dancing with the Stars. Had to watch it. I was bored out of my I mind. She was skinnier. You could just see the the implant from the side. It was just something you noticed. But do you think she looks better? I uh, no no, no. I, I I can't I can't stand She's the Palins. She can't dance. I don't know why. I don't know how she made it all the way to the finals the first time around. I hope that they... It's the following. But you know what? You're right. Fame doesn't mean anything. So it's you nothing. can be seen and get ratings, but there's nothing there. Right. It doesn't really matter. It's an empty number. You can have 500,000 people on Twitter, but be, they don't care because you have all these loser followers or just people that want to follow because you're the next zeitgeist at the moment. It's 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 really bad. Tom, thank you so much for coming in studio this early. We love you, you for it. If uh, so Follow Tom on Twitter uh, through our Facebook, Broad Minded Broads. You can check him out at the Greenwich Village Comedy Club every other Wednesday here in New York City. And uh, make sure you follow Pete. <laughs> oh, Ragu. God, Pete Ragu. And we're going to come see a show next time we're here. Yes, thank you. we would love Can't that. wait to come see you. Tom, thank, thank you, you so thank much. You so All right, much. we have... We've got to go to a break. Um, we got a lot to get into uh, when we get back because we didn't get to uh, some gossip yesterday. I'm just thinking about the leg and the money that Heather Meal, he, when he mentioned the, <laughs> the, the money in her leg. We'll it's be right there. back. The, I like With that. With the broad yeah, series, some stars. That's Channel good stuff. 107. <laughs> That's good stuff right there.